Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and welcome. Uh, we got some fun projects today. So let me start right off. I want to show you what we're going to do today. Um, today we're going to make this really cool card from, it's the Hello Friend stamp set. And I just love some of the images in this set. And let me show you, because this, I, I'm trying to find stamp sets that I have bought and haven't used as we're coming to the end of the catalog period. This is from the, in the front of the annual catalog and it goes along with the project kit um, for Hello Friend. But this is the stamp set down here and I think I just love some of these images. Um, we got a great wreath, this really fun background, the big hello, um, and this big thinking of my friend today. So I think this is a great general set that you don't have to use with the kit. Um, and so I really wanted to show that off today. So that is what we're gonna be making today on Coffee and Crafts. Um, and welcome, we let everybody popping on. Good morning, welcome everybody. So I also wanted to go over. So Coffee and Crafts, I always like to do uh, some giveaways to say thank you for joining me and for sharing. Um, sharing is what helps get me out there and I'm very thankful that you guys do that for me. So today, during today's broadcast, if you leave a comment and you really only have to say hi, um, you will be entered to win the In Color Doilies from uh, last year. And I will pick that at the end of this broadcast. So you just need to leave a comment and um, everyone who leaves a comment is entered into that uh, drawing. If you don't win, or you're watching this uh, later when it's not live, I'm going to pick next week, next Thursday, um, for the time of the year stamp set. So again, all you have to do is leave a comment. If you share this video and then leave a comment that you shared, and that's with a D, because um, that's how I search, um, you will get a second entry into that drawing to win. And that'll be on the 20, where are we? The 27th of March. So that is what I got going on today. But we want to pick the winner from last time. And of course, I thank everybody for trying to stick with me because I have been at a scattered schedule um, since February. It's just things have been going left, right, and center. So this is way back from uh, March 2nd. And this is for the Lots of Lavender. This is a current celebration item. Celebration is coming to an end. I hope everybody's got everything they want. You've got a couple more weeks to either um, buy, get the products you want or um, join, because this is an awesome time to join. But right now, let's pick a winner for the Lots of Lavender. I have everybody's name here, and you'll see people's names are, oh, stamp with Tammy. I, uh, if Tammy wins, we'll, we'll pick again. I know she won't mind. Um, if uh, you see people's name twice, uh, that's because they share this video and I thank them. So they do get the second entry um, to win. So I had a lot of names from this episode. So hopefully I'll uh, whip through kind of quick so you guys can um, get us to uh, see your name, hopefully. All right. There, were, there was a long list today. So I'm going to hit randomize. The name that pops up on <clears throat> the top will be the winner. So one, two, three, here we go. And come on here. So Sally S. So congratulations to Sally. Sally, if you want to head over to craftystampin.com, if you go to specials, then giveaway, right at the top of this page is a click here to claim your prize and you fill out the form and I will get that in the mail to you as soon as possible. Um, on all my giveaways, I have it's two weeks um, to claim the prize or it goes back into uh, a later drawing. I will send an email once I mail it, if, even if I'm behind. I'm, you know, I will send an email. So if you do not get an email, email me saying, hey, <laughs> Where is it? Um, just in case for whatever reason something happened. So I don't want anybody to miss out, but it is two weeks. I will post them on that pay giveaway page. The winners will be posted and they'll also be posted um, as a reply to the pinned comment below here. So let's get crafting because that is what we all are here to do. Or at least watch, that's what we're doing. So let's pop down here to work table. So 
And good morning, everybody. I see everyone's popping on. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I want to make sure I say hi to everybody. I see everybody going by. If I missed any questions or anything, I'll go back later and look. Um, coffee and crafts. I like to... Uh, I like to make this a little easy for you guys, so I just like you sit back, watch, relax, and then <clears throat> in about an hour afterwards, I put up a blog post that is a recap. <clears throat> in that recap, I have a downloadable PDF for you. So then that has, it has a picture of the project, it has all the cut sizes, so you don't have to take notes. It has a link straight back to that post in case, I know a bunch of people print them out and keep them, but if they want to find it, as well as a QR code if you're uh, that technology, uh, um, efficient you can get back there and I have a list of all the products that are um, I used and if you go to that post all of these are um, linkable right back to my store so that you can get anything I had a little boo-boo when I was doing this but I have fixed it on the download sometimes it's good to print them out and kind of look at them with a hairy eyeball because sometimes I screw up when I type things in super quick so let's get started good morning look at everybody uh, I know every Everybody on the East Coast ready for another nor'easter? Ready for more snow? Can't say I'm excited about that at all. So I'm starting with Tangerine Tango. I'd already scored it. Um, sometimes I forget and do it in advance, but I always use my scoreboard and uh, score my cards. I find that it works a lot better than just trying to fold them. So I'm going to set that aside. All right, so now I have basic black. And we're going to do this uh, background with the heat embossing with gold. So again, when you use when you're heat embossing, your most important thing is your embossing buddy. And you use it before you stamp. For some reason in my brain, I always think stamp then embossing buddy, but it's not going to work that way. Um, so I'm just going to cover this with um, the embossing buddy, and I tend to keep my embossing supplies kind of all together and I try to keep my embossing powder ideally on top of my Versamark so I remember embossing buddy Versamark because I always remember it after I hit it. All right so that is done. What I'm going to do I'm going to uh, leave the block on my desk. I found because I really want this right up in the corner and down in the corner over here that it's easier for this one for me to move my paper and not um, the block. So, oh, someone's looking at 12 inches in Connecticut. I know, I'm outside Boston and I'm probably getting 10 <laughs> on top of what is still left from the last two. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome. All right, so I just do I need that back. So I inked this up with the Versamark. I'm going to leave it on my desk. I'm going to take my uh, sheet that already has the um, embossing buddy on it, and I'm going to turn this over. And I'm going to kind of line it up visually here, and I'm just going to push it down. This does not have to be perfect. All right, and now I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to ink it up again. All right. And now I'm going to spin this way. Again, try and line it up. And now I'm going to rub my, there we go. All right, so now I'm going to add my, <laughs> so who's, so Jeannie looks like she's at the beach. <laughs> Jeannie, I would love to be at the beach right now. I probably wouldn't be crafting though, so it may not be good for my crafting because as soon as the sun comes out, I'm going outside. I may take my uh, crafting supplies with me, <laughs> but I am looking forward to summer and sun and complaining I'm too hot at this point. So there is, uh, after I dipped it in the embossing powder, let's put this away so I don't send embossing powder all over. Oh, yes, it is the first day of spring, isn't it? <laughs> and a nor'easter on its way. That's that's the way to mix things up, huh? And, and Easter is two weeks away? Less than two weeks away? Timing. It's all about timing. All right, so I'm going to heat up my uh, embossing, my heat gun below the desk for a minute while, so you don't get to listen to it with the microphone. Um, okay, so let's see while that's doing that. Let me, all right. Let's try this. All right, so now I'm going to heat up the embossing powder. 
10 years later, this is still one of my favorite things to do. I just love watching this all melt and get all shiny. Use my uh, phone folder to whoops, to hold it down so I don't burn my hand, my fingers. I have, so someone's asking what heat gun I use. I use the Stampin' Up! heat gun. I love it. It has two heat settings. So if you're working on something like uh, vellum or something, you don't want to burn it. Um, it works great to take labels off of uh uh, glass jars and whatever too. I know. I, and I've been known to heat up my shoes if they're cold. <laughs> so people, um, the stamp set I'm using comes from, it's the annual catalog, it's way in the front, it's called Hello Friend, it has some awesome, uh, do that, awesome images. I love the background, so this is what we're using right now as part of my background. Um, so I'm going to let this cool for a minute. And so it doesn't, because it melts when the embossing powder melts, it's kind of soft for a minute. Because then I'm, what I'm going to do is very tactical, I'm going to rub this on my jeans. And that will get off the um, embossing buddy powder. You can use a um, tissue or a clean cloth. I find my jeans just work great. So I'll rub that on my jeans. There we go. So there we go. That white powder's gone. Again, this is Hello Friend stamp set from the, it's in the very front of the uh, annual catalog and all the um, rest of the products will be on my blog um, in like an hour when we're done so now I'm gonna use the circle stamp that said thank you my friend and I stamp that on whisper white in the tangerine tango there we go Let's stick that there. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that right in the middle there we go. All right, so what I want to do, I'm going to try and save a little paper. I'm usually not good at saving a little paper, but there is a scallop circle behind the um, greeting here in the Tangerine Tango, and I'm going to use this panel, and I'm going to cut it out of the middle of this panel. So you'll never see it. Um, but it's a it's a way to save some paper. So I'm going to cut these two out with the big shot. Let me bring that over. Okay. Slide this through. I got my magnetic platform today. All right, so let's put this here and this one here. See if I can do two at once. So I'm using for the greeting. I'm going to use the smallest stitched shape circle. Okay, and then this is the seventh largest. And I go through all my um, nesting dies. I line them all up, largest to smallest, and the scallops are all A through whatever, A being the largest, and the smooth are numbers. So this is the G. So it's easier for me to say G, but if you don't know what I mean by G, it's the seventh one. Um, but I, it's easier for me, especially if I'm making notes. I use the G4 combination on this card. Um, it's also easier when I'm trying to go through and say, oh no, this one's too small, I need one a little bigger. It's already labeled, so I know which one's the next size up. Okay, so let's pull these off. Oh, Vicki just found out her Stamparatus is on the way. So if you were part of the second um, ordering, those Stamparatuses are going into your shopping carts now. And make sure, do not delete that shopping cart and do not delete the Stamparatus out of your shopping cart. Um, but yes, those are starting to go out to people. It's really exciting for everybody that they are starting to be mailed out. All right, so doo -doo 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 -doo. let me see what else I need to do. Oh, I need that piece of paper back. So I'm keeping this. This is part of my, don't want to forget that. 
And all right, so we're going to use, so I'm cutting all my pieces, the Pretty Label Punch. And I want to cut that with gold foil. I love this shape. And I love mixing it with um, the circle dies. All right. And last but not least, before we can start putting these things together, um, this is a little strip of pear pizzazz. And I'm just going to use my paper snips and I'm going to cut out a little notch from both ends. And to do that, I snip up the middle as high as I want um, that notch to go. And now I'm going to cut from the middle, from the, sorry, from this end up to the top of that cut. Good morning, everybody. I see more people still coming on. Welcome. There we go. All right. So there's one notch, and now I'm going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm just going to cut up the middle. There we go. All right, there we go. So I'll move those out of the way. Okay, so now we'll start to assemble. So I grab my snail, and first I'm going to do is I'm going to attach uh, the pear pizzazz to the gold foil. Nothing fancy, just kind of in the middle here. All right, and then I'm going to attach the greeting to the scallop circle. All right. And these are very close in size, and I like that. I like let's see, use the black. Oops. You can see, I like how it just adds that tiny little bit of uh, scallop on the outside. I'm now going to attach these two together, but I'm going to attach them with dimensionals, which have disappeared. Mm -hmm. Oh, here they are. Let's see. They got put out for Stamp Club. Ah. All right, I don't know where the rest of them are. We'll use little ones. Those work, too. All right, good morning, everybody. So I'm just going to, I like to use my pokey tool, my pokey tool, paper piercing tool, um, to grab a hold of the mini uh, dimensionals. It makes it uh, easier to place them, I find, because they're so small. There we go. All right. So I'm going to attach this in the middle of that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start to assemble, let's see, we'll go back to a wider view. Um, all right, so this is the paper from, I think it's Whole Lotta Lovely, let me make sure I say the name correctly, Whole Lotta Lovely. I love the images in this paper, it's got, you know, from the black with the clips of coral to some, the, uh, I don't know if that's Blushing Bride, uh, probably uh, polka dots, and it's got some, a very varied, um, images and colors that uh, are really great to work with. So I'm going to leave this um, alone for a second and I'm going to attach this, the black embossed panel to our card base with snail. All right. Okay, so here are those pieces. Let's set those aside for a second. I'm going to take, this is the Peekaboo Peach uh, Crinkled, we call it a crinkled, yeah. Cr crinkled seam binding ribbon. And I'm going to take like 10 inches or so. And I love this ribbon anyways. It's just scrumptious. It ties beautiful knots. What I want to do is I want to pull um, a thread that is running horizontally through this entire ribbon from the middle. And actually, it is probably easier to do that with plain old um, tweezers. So let's see if I can get this, get one out. There we go. All right. All right, so I got the thread, and I'm just going to start pulling. And it's going to cause it to wrinkle and kind of curl up on that thread. So I just kind of want to go down the entire length of the ribbon I keep grabbing it further down with my um, tweezers there. 
and it gives this gorgeous kind of crinkle to this ribbon. There we go. Kind of hold it now. All right. All right. See how you kind of get that really cool crinkle to the ribbon? And then we'll just kind of even it out a little bit. There we go. All right. So what I want to do with this now, actually, so let's... I can kind of snip this off so it kind of gets in the way. So we'll snip that off because we don't need it anymore. So there's the cool. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply snail across here and then I'm going to place it on. So here we go. And I want to leave a little on the end so I can um, curl it around so you don't see the ends. Let's see if you can see that. And I'm just going to kind of stick this down kind of like that and I'm not worried about how it looks too much on this side because this is where my greeting is going to go I'm really interested in what it looks like over here all right so now I'm just going to add a little snail on the back so I can curl my ribbon over and have it hold on the back so there we go so there is my crinkled seam binding all kind of bunched up so now Let's see, let's put this on this one first. So let's get some more dimensionals. All right, so I only have this uh, piece that's just the last bits, but that's fine. I use every last bit of my dimensional sheets. There we go. Turn this around. One more section over here. All right. So add all this. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, I love it when the dimensional paper just sticks to me. All right. I think I got them all. Nope. Didn't get that one. There we go. All right. Make sure that's how the card opens. Here we go. I'm going to add this to the center like that. And now I want to put dimensionals, and I'm going to put them on the top and the bottom so they kind of go over um, the, the ribbon. So again, using my paper piercing tool, also known as the pokey tool, um, to get my dimensionals off. There we go. All right, now remove the ba paper backings. Alrighty. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna put this right here. And there we go. Cool little card. I love these colors. I'm trying to think spring, even though we're going to get more snow. <laughs> so I hope you liked that. I hope you liked the little trick with the ribbon. I love that crinkled seam ribbon. So if you've joined during the show, thank you very much and welcome. Uh, pop on real quick and say hi, and you can get entered in to win uh, the in-color doilies from a year ago. So just pop in. You say hi. Um, whatever. No need to uh, have to write a paragraph. Um, so let's head over to start trying to do the live. Oh, let's see. Uh, give me a second. I'll let you stare at the card for a second while I get logged back in. Likes to log me out. I talk too much. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. I'm glad you liked the card. All right. So here we go. So whoever's name pops up top, is going to be the winner of our doilies. And I pick a winner. One, two, three. Here we go. So it is Maria Cristina Leone. So congratulations to Maria Cristina. Maria, head over to... Let's go back here. So you want to head over to craftystampin.com. Go up to specials. Oh, there we go. Giveaways. And then when you get over to giveaways there is a line right here it says click to claim your prize and I will get those in the mail to you so 
Thank you guys for joining me today. I will be back on Thursday with another fun project and another giveaway. So, um, Paper Pumpkin, make sure you subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. We got the half off if you're a new subscriber and there's coming to the end of celebration. If you have your um, Stamparatus is in the order, it's $49. You need to add something to get a free celebration. Add the hostess code too, and I will send you uh, a tutorial. So if you have any questions, I'm Linda at craftystampin.com, and I will see you on Thursday. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Bye.